Good morning, everyone. Coming to you here on Wednesday to let you know about some important announcements that we have coming up for this Sunday. Uh, one of the biggest is we're starting our core groups back this Sunday. Cannot wait to get back in those small groups. Uh, look forward to having you. Let me say this. If you have a group uh, that's not yet meeting, uh, let me invite you to come. And particularly if you come to the early service, you might want to join in our Early Risers core group. We'll meet at 8 o'clock over in the Fellowship Hall. And so if your group's not meeting, I want to invite you to come out to that one. Now, for all of our core groups, I mentioned this Sunday, but I want to mention it again. Let's not forget about First Five. And what is First Five? It's taking the first five minutes of that core group to just kind of look around the room, look and see who's not there, who do we need to drop a card to, who do we need to uh, send a text message or make a phone call to, who do we need to reach out to during the week. And so First Five can be a really powerful tool for helping us maintain contact with people uh, while we're in this social distancing and quarantine type situation. And I do want to remind everybody, let's continue to be careful when we meet together, uh, particularly in our small groups. And for those of you that are in an at-risk category, if you have a, a pre-existing condition, if you have a compromised immune system, we want you to be really careful and you may want to stay home and watch our services on television or over the internet. We're still continuing to do that. In fact, we're trying to make it even better than before. Uh, so we're looking forward to having you here, but we want everyone to be careful as they come together. Now, also Sunday night, we're going to be observing the Lord's Supper. We do that with some pre-packaged uh, communion wear that we have, so we're safe when we do that. I want to invite you to be back that evening for it. I think that's an important part of our worship to the Lord. Also, after the Sunday evening service, we'll be having our church conference. Always an important time as we take care of the church's work, so I hope to see you then. One of the things we've been talking about a lot in the month of October is Operation Christmas Child. Uh, so if you come into the Mission Center, you're going to see a bunch of boxes. I believe we have 30 more right now stacked up here. These are for you to grab, as many as your family can feel. So we want, want to encourage everyone not to wait to the last minute. Go ahead and be getting those boxes. You can put in an order with the Shoebox House. They'll help you fill those things up uh, for a greatly reduced rate. But it's getting time again for Operation Christmas Child. Our shoebox Sunday is coming up in November. Uh, we'll be getting those boxes packed up and sent out. Now, our Sunday night offering for the month of October is supporting Operation Christmas Child. That goes for shipping and packing and all of those things that go along with filling shoe boxes. So let's have a record year. Uh, if you come in here, there's no boxes, we've got more. We'll get those boxes to you. But these are already boxed up, pick them up, fill them up and bring them back in uh, to church. Well, I hope you have a great week and I can't wait to see you again this Lord's Day. Hope you're making plans to join with us. God bless, have a great day.